in this lecture we are going to talk about electroplating electroplating is one of the most important technique used in chemistry physics thin film technology material science and nanotechnology so in simple word electroplating is defined as electroplating is a process where we take one object made of one of the metal and we cover it with a thin layer or a thin film of another metal object Electroplating in short is also known as plating or it is also called as plating. Electroplating is widely used in many application but one of the most common application of electroplating is the coating of an inexpensive metal in jewelry if you see a jewelry of a gold or a silver both these metal are costly but if you found that these metals are really cheap then this mean that the jewelry is electroplated with gold or silver pieces of the jewelry are not made of solid or pure gold or silver silver because they are costly but they may be made up of different type of low cost metal like copper or zinc this mean that electroplating is used to deposit a thin layer coating of a gold or silver onto the surface of the cheap metal like zinc and copper so this is how jewelry is made cheap because it is made up of inexpensive metal mostly and you just need a tiny amount of costly metal like gold and uh, or zinc uh, gold or silver to be deposited onto the surface of the inexpensive metal like copper and zinc so now dear student let us discuss about the chemistry and physics of electroplating suppose we have a copper plate and we want to coat a thin layer of silver on it how do you think how we can do an electroplating of or how we can deposit a thin layer of a silver which is a costly metal on a low cost copper matting metal using uh, electroplating process how we can do this let explain this This student, in order to coat a silver metal thin film on a copper metal plate, let's start with a copper metal plate. So this is a piece of a copper metal. And consider the on the other side the piece of a silver metal so what we want here we want to take a few atom from the silver plate and deposit these atom in a form of a layer or a thin film on a surface of a piece of a copper metal plate In order to do this process meaningful, we will basically put both the piece of silver plate and a piece of a copper plate 
in a liquid solution or in a liquid consider this is a container and container contain a liquid and we insert the piece of the silver plate and the piece of a copper plate in this liquid please keep in mind liquid used in electroplating is usually water with some chemical dissolve in it the chemical which are used in electroplating are ionic in nature they are ionic chemicals and they act as an electrolyte in a solution so in later part of this lecture I will briefly explain about the different types of solutions used in electroplating process. So just by putting silver plates and copper plate in a solution is not enough to start the electroplating process. Because electroplating process is a type of electrolysis. So we need to use an electricity which will cause a chemical change in a solution and also a change structural change on the surface of of the piece of silver plate and as well as on the surface of the copper plate so what we are going to do here is that we will put some metallic wire from silver and as well as copper plate and we will hook them with a battery now check out which side of the battery of the of these two plates are connected to so first of all draw a wire from a piece of a silver plate connect this wire with a battery and also draw a wire from a piece of a copper plate and so connect both the the wire which is drawn from the silver plate and as well as the wire which is drawn from a copper plate with a battery now important thing to notice here is that the terminal with which the wire are connected play a very important role we hook a silver piece with a positive side of a battery which mean battery will pull electrons from the silver metal into the positive terminal of the battery like this whereas on the other side the piece of copper metal is connected to the negative terminal of the potential source which mean that electron will move out of the battery and they will be pushed and pumped into this copper metal piece like this so this is our all a setup of our electroplating the whole setup based on a piece of metals like silver and copper and inside the electrolytic solution connected with battery is known as electroplating cell or the device based on a piece of two different kind of metal connected with potential source in an electro electrolytic solution is known as electroplating 
cell. Now, I'm going to talk about how actually the electroplating cell works. In order to understand the work of electroplating cell, we need to zoom the piece of a copper plate and as well as a piece of a zinc plate at atomic scale. So this, so we can see a makeup of atom for a silver plate and as well as a makeup of atom for copper plate and the ion which make up the solution of the electroplating cell. So here is the magnified view of atom present at the edges of the silver plate. As a whole, silver plate has millions and even unlimited atoms of silver, but in magnified variant, consider this that these are few atoms present at the edges of the silver plate. And whereas this represent that the copper atom present at the edges of the copper plate are present on the surface of the copper plate. So now we want to move some amount or some number of silver atom from a silver plate and deposit them on the surface of the copper plate or on the surface of the copper atom. So how we can transfer silver atom onto the surface of copper plate? how we can do this we can move silver atoms in only one condition if we change the charge on the silver atoms if we convert the silver atoms into ion then we can move the silver ion onto the surface of the copper atom this is the only way in electrochemistry As you know that, according to the rule of electrochemistry, neutral atoms like silver neutral atoms and as well as copper neutral atoms, they make a solid metal like silver plate or copper plate. Whereas a metal, if a metal which is based on a neutral atom is converted into ions then these ions are easily dissolvable in water and as well as they can be easily a part of the electrolytic solution which is used in electroplatic process if we can change a charge on neutral silver atom and a change them into ions then in such situation we can dissolve a piece of a silver and move it into the solution so the silver atoms are converted into a silver ion what do you think how we can convert a silver atom to a silver ion in electroplating process this is done by using a battery and connect the silver plate and as well as a copper plate with a battery. The wire are drawn 
from a silver plate and connect it to the positive terminal of the battery. Whereas the wire drawn from a copper plate is connected to a negative terminal of the potential source or to the negative terminal of the battery. So this means that the silver plate is connected with a positive terminal of the potential source mean that electron are pulled from silver atom toward the positive terminal of the battery like this. Let take one of the silver atom and consider that this atom loses the electron and electron move toward the positive terminal of the potential source. So, when a silver atom loses its electron, silver atom will become a silver ion. And this silver ion will no longer be the part of the silver matter and the silver ion will move into the solution of electroplating cell this is all because we have changed the neutral silver atom into a plus silver ion so in this way many of silver atoms are converted into silver ion and they become the part of the electroplating cell solution like this so the silver so the silver plate is losing the atom in a form of silver ion so the shape and the size of this silver plate will change with a time like this this is the actual shape and the size of the silver plate and when silver plate loses the ion and can silver atom convert itself into a silver ion then the silver ion will basically leave the silver plate and silver the size of the silver plate will shrink like this so this image basically represent that the chunk of the silver atoms are coming out of the silver plate in the form of ion and they become part of the solution of electroplating cell so now we have ions that are dissolved in a solution because the silver ion are losing electron due to the pull due to the electron pull caused by the positive terminal of the battery now next thing we will do so we need to convert the silver atom silver ions into a silver atom and then deposit onto the surface of the copper plate since you know that silver is the electron or drawn from the positive by the positive terminal of the battery from the silver atoms so silver atoms are converted into silver ions and ion are the part of the electroplating solution however they will remain a part of the electroplating solution if the silver atoms are 
present in the form of silver ion in electroplating solution so in order to deposit a silver ion silver atom on the surface of copper plate we need to convert these silver ions into silver atoms and then they can be easily transported and deposited on the surface of copper plate so how we can convert a positive one silver ion into a silver atom the student we can do this by a same thing which we did with a silver atom we need to change a charge on silver ion please keep this rule in mind that the neutral atoms are the part of metal plates whereas ionized atoms are always the part of solution so the silver ions are floating and dissolving in a solution but if we become successful to convert the ionized silver atoms into a neutral silver atom in a solution then we can easily deposit them onto the surface of the copper plate as a layer of thin film so how we can do this we can do this by connecting <clears throat> the copper plate with a negative terminal of the potential source or with the negative terminal of the battery so here in the the electron from the negative terminal of the battery are pushed and pumped into the copper metal like this So let's see what happened. Silver ion has a positive charge. So these silver ion will attract the electron which is passed through the copper metal. So when this positively charged silver ion attract a negatively charged electron then the silver ion will be converted into silver atoms and as according to the rule of electrochemistry the silver atom or the neutral atom will never be a part of the electroplatic solution so the neutral atom will travel toward the surface of this copper plate and in this way we will deposit a copper atom on to the uh, silver atom on to the surface of the copper plate so let us summarize the process initially we have two plates a silver plate and copper plates and we want to deposit a silver atom on to the surface of the copper plate so we place the in order to start the electroplating process we put the silver plate and copper plate in electrolytic solution okay and then in order to complete a circuit we connect the potential source or a battery with silver plate and copper plate the positive terminal of the battery is connected with a silver plate and whereas the negative terminal of the battery this one is connected to the copper plate so the role of the positive terminal of the battery is to take the electron from the silver atom so when the battery positive terminal of the battery takes the electron from the silver atom then the silver atom get ionized so according to the rule of electrochemistry the ionized atom are no longer part of the metal solid metal is made of a neutral atom so the ionized atom will move and they will become a part of the electroplatic solution on the other side 
the copper plate is connected with a negative terminal of the potential source the negative terminal of potential source will push and throw away the electron and these electron will pass through the copper plate since you know that the positive charge of the silver has opposite polarity to the negative charge of the electron so both the positive charge silver and the electron will attract each other and when electron is attracted by the silver positive silver ion the silver ion will be converted into a silver neutral atom so in this way when the silver atom is converted into a silver neutral atom so then the silver atom will is neutral so it will no longer be dissolvable in electroplating solution and it will be transported onto the surface of a copper plate in the form of a thin layer or in a form of a thin film <clears throat> district last thing i want to talk is about the solution which is used in electroplating process please note that electroplating process never happen in a regular pure water you need to dissolve some type of chemicals in water to allow the electro plating in water so the solution of electro plating cell will never be only based on water it will have some kind of electrolytic chemicals which will cause an electroplating process for electroplating process of silver you usually use silver nitrate as a electrolyting electrolyting chemical in a water so silver nitrate is used in electroplating of a silver and you know that a silver nitrate is an ionic compound it is made up of positively charged silver ion and as well as negatively charged nitrate ions positively charged silver ion here and negatively charged nitrate ions so nitrate is a polyatomic ion whereas single and uh, silver is a single ion when a silver nitrate is dissolved in a water silver ion and as well as nitrate ion will get separate and they will come apart in a solution like this so silver and nitrate when they are silver nitrate when it is dissolved in a water silver nitrate is converted into silver ion as and as well as nitrate ions and they get separate so as according to the rule of electrochemistry the ion will dissolve in a solution and they will flow in a water in electroplating cells so these ion have number of jobs to do okay first by adding more silver atom silver ion is a good because they move toward the copper plate and they get converted into a silver atom so you can have a thick layer of film on the surface of copper plate the role of the negatively charged nitrate are also important because the they are negatively in charge so they balance out the positively charged silver ion so this will increase the efficiency of the electroplating cell
but most important job of positively charged silver ion and negatively charged nitrate is that they act as an electrolyte which means that they allow electricity to flow through the solution and in this way a circuit inside the electroplating cell is completed and the battery will do its work in electroplating cells so we basically use wide range of a silver nitrate like this inside the solution of water so if we have the more amount of the silver nitrate there will be a more movement of the silver ion on the surface of the copper plate and we will have more thicker film in a shorter time on the surface of the copper plate. Apart from the transformation and deposition of the copper plate, as I've discussed, the silver nitrate in a form of ion play a role of the electrolyte. So the electrical circuit will be completed when the wire which is drawn from the silver plate and copper plate is connected with a potential source or a potential battery. So the battery can pull the electron from by with the help of the positive terminal and whereas it will push out the electron with the help of the negative terminal easily because circuit is completed. So this is the reason that's why solution in electroplating is very important so now dear student let us discuss how we can describe electroplating process using the terms like oxidation reduction reactions cathodes and anode and so let's have a look at that